Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training with me and above. In this video, we will talk about authorization concept in SAP BTP. We will talk about how can we create the security configuration and force our user to have a particular role assigned in order to access our application resources. In the last episode, we already talked about authentication using access UAA, but now our focus is to control authorization. So authorization is after the authentication. So after user authenticates uh, by username and password, and if they are valid, then we would check the roles assigned to the user. If the user has the correct roles assigned, only then we permit user to access certain resources. So let me talk about our use case today. In our use case today, we have a Cloud Foundry native application using SAP CAPM framework, and we have multiple users. Imagine we have two users. One user is Joe, and the next user is, uh, let's say, Julie. Now, what Joe and Julie does, they work in a, in a company, and they are taking care of processing salaries for the company employees for a particular bank. Now, Joe is a manager, is a senior manager in the company who should be able to watch all the employee data for all the banks. However, Julie, she's particularly processing and creating a relationship with a particular bank for the company employees. And then she should only be able to see data of those employees who belongs to, let's say, Bank of London, yeah? So in this case, right now in our database, we have a employee table. Yes, and this employee table have all the employee data plus each employee's bank name. So what our goal is to secure our data that in a way that when Joe logs in into the application and try to access the business partners or the employee data, then Joe will get all the information of employees available in the company. Joe will also be having a permission to create, basically to post data into the employee data set. However, when it comes to Julie, when she does a get of employee, she should only be able to see data of corresponding bank, like Bank of London in this case. So she will not see, though there is all the data of all the different employees for different banks she will only get bank of london data when she gets the data in the fury application or directly through the service so this is how we can implement a role level security additionally what we want is we want we don't want julie to perform any post operation we want to restrict julie to insert data in our table at all so let's see how we implement this into SAP BTP and we can also test this locally by defining a configuration in our CAPM package JSON. So I will switch over now and what I want to show that we've already done this. So first thing is to the business partner set, we have already restricting here the read access to the viewers, those who are having viewer role for corresponding banks. However, we are also restricting the right access to only, uh, we are only allowing right access to only administrator users. So these are basically my role, roles. So to the viewer, uh, those who are viewers, we would only allow them to see data for corresponding bank name, which is assigned to their role in the scope. This is an attribute. And then to the, to the admins, we will give full right access as well to our business partners. So this is how we restrict our resource in CAPM. Now moving next, we have also defined the role in access security JSON, where we have created a viewer and an admin role, along with the bank name as an attribute, which will be inserted in a viewer role scope. Now to test this, we have defined a local configuration for users, which is during our development profile with a mock strategy. And here we have Joe and uh, Julie. So both the users are in place. So you can see I've given a role of admin and viewer both to Joe and also a bank name unrestricted access, which means when Joe gets the data from the uh, employees, Joe would be able to see all employees data. And that was 
exactly our requirement was. Joe is the senior manager. He should see all the employees of all the banks. Plus, Joe also will have post permissions, and that's something which is controlled using this admin role. So we're going to do that. Now, Julie, when it comes, it, she has just a viewer role, and you can see I've granted only the Bank of London. Maybe let me remove Bank of New York. I just grant Bank of London uh, viewer permission to Julie. So now we can go ahead and test this directly in our SAP Business Application Studio. And to the, do that, we will just do a CDS watch command to test it locally in our Business Application Studio. And now you can see this is going to start our application locally. We can now go back to our HTTP file, which we have already created for testing things locally. So I'll switch over there. And now we will try to access the same service. So all of these we have done as part of our BTP training. It's a 40 hour training for you guys designed considering you as an absolute beginner on SAP business technology platform. So we are going to learn all these concepts more in detail. This is just a preview video where you get an idea of how things and security works in cloud. So now I come down. So now let us go ahead and make calls to our resources by using the users. So I will create a new call, let's say authorization test. And we will just make a get call and we will just say HTTP and I will say localhost 4000 and I will just call my employee set entity set for now. Now, so now I go ahead and make a request without any authentication to my employee set and you would see that we would just get a unauthorized nice as a next step what i will do is include authorization locally and i will just put a basic authorization and i put my username and password separated by colon so we don't need to enter password because we are using a local configuration so i will just enter julie and colon and blank password so let's perform a get request now and Wow, you can get the data and you can observe that all the records which I've got is having only Bank of London. If you remember in our local configuration, we have specified the Bank of London only. And that's why we've got Bank of London. Let me just count these records. And I can just make a count and you can see perhaps we've got seven records here. So remember the count seven and now I will change my user to Joe who is actually a administrator and a unrestricted access to employee data without uh, without any bank details. So if you come back, you can see the configuration says bank name unrestricted, which is a default keyword to uh, pass a wildcard there. So now if I switch over back and call a get request, you can see it's still saying forbidden. Let me check the username. I think I'm doing a spelling mistake. It's Joe, yes. Yeah, okay, and let's make a call. Voila, you can see this time it's 33 records instead of seven, which means if you just access the data, you would see that you would end up getting all the records irrespective of uh, irrespective of the bank, yeah? So this is what you will get here when it comes to making the call. And now you can see also you got data for different, different other banks as well. Fantastic. So that is how we can test and configure our authentication so deep level into SAP BTP to restrict as well as to give a role level security in cloud application programming model. I hope you enjoyed this. You got a basic idea of how security works. For complete detailed training, join us on anubotrainings.com for business technology platform training with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you into the next session.